This video builds on the previous video we did on AWS and EC2. In the previous video, which I will put a link beneath uh, this video, we set up an account on AWS. We launched a Linux Ubuntu instance and figured out how to secure shell into that using PuTTY. This video, our intent is to set up a free tier Windows instance and figure out how to remote desktop into that. So, the, so I'm, I'm already logged on to AWS. I'm under the EC2 dashboard. I've got one instance running, which is the Linux Ubuntu instance right here. It's still running. Uh, this is the one we connected to earlier. I'm going to go back to the dashboard. There's a couple ways we can do this. We can just click on launch instance here or go back to the dashboard. Uh, let's go back to the dashboard and I'm going to click on launch launch instance here. This is a good place to kind of see what you have running. Uh, so we have one running instance and after your, your year uh, is up for the free tier, uh, you want to make sure you're, you don't have any running instances or you'll be charged for those. So I'm going to click on launch instance. And here we have the same menu we saw before for Ubuntu and the Linux instances. If I click on free tier only, it's just going to reduce the list here to the free tier eligible ones. For this one, I want to select a Windows image. And there's a few different ones we can select. Windows Server 2016 base here. We can scroll down. Base with containers, base nano. 2012 R2, we can even select a 2008, I believe, right here, R2. So I'm going to go ahead and select a 2016 uh, base because I want to get familiar with that operating system. So this one right here is the data center edition. If we scroll down more, we could select the base nano if we wanted to. Um, but I'm going, to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and select this one right here. <clears throat> so the Microsoft Windows Server. 2016 base. Select. Uh, again, same kind of thing we saw before with the Linux. Uh, we're using a T2 micro, which is free tier eligible. We have one virtual CPU and one gig of memory. So not a lot, but it's good enough for uh, using for testing and to get familiar with uh, AWS and EC2. If this were for production, we would need something much larger, which is why they give you a micro instance for free because they realize if you do this for production you're gonna have to pay for something let's click on review and launch and go ahead and click on launch here again and very similar we have the key pair we saw earlier for this one the key pair uh, we have is the one we already selected or created last time the ec2 test so I'm going to go ahead and use that key pair. Uh, if you needed to create a new one, you could select create a new pair, or you could proceed without a key pair. But uh, I'm just going to select the one we already created last time for the Linux instance. So I'm going to click on launch instance. Let me take a second to launch the instance. <clears throat> and again, we see uh, same window we saw before. If we click here, this is the instance number. We can see the status. This one takes a little bit longer to initialize than Linux. It's in a pending state. We can go ahead and name it though while it's initializing to Windows uh, 20, whoop, Windows 2016 free. And you see here is our public IP address, 18.217.60.157. And we will use this to connect to this instance. It's running now. If I go back to the dashboard, I have two running instances now. So I've got the free Linux and the free Windows one running. So they're both running. The Windows one, let's click on this. And there's a connect option up here for the windows. If you click on this, <clears throat> it basically gives you the, the ability to download a remote desktop file, which has the link to this system. 
So if I click on download remote desktop file, I'm going to save it. So this is just a pre-configured RDP file that's downloaded. And when you click on get password, it will show you the password as well. If you're trying to get the password, <clears throat> you see you may get this message saying you have to wait um, up to four minutes. So just be patient because we need this password before we can log on to the instance. So we'll wait till this is available. So it's finally available. And what we need the key pair for is to decrypt the password. So the key name shows up right here. This is the PEM version, which is what Amazon uses, not the PKG version, which is what Putty uses. So we're going to browse to that key pair, select it. Or you can open the key pair uh, and paste the contents below and then click on decrypt password, which will give you the auto-generated password that we need to remote desktop into the instance we just configured. So I'm going to browse here to that key, which is under EC2, PIM, open that. And here is the RSA private key. If I click on decrypt password, it will show me the password. <clears throat> so here the password has be, been decrypted. And I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and destroy this instance after this uh, video, so you won't be able to uh, <laughs> access my um, instance with this password. Uh, so we're going to log on using the remote desktop file to this system. We already downloaded the RDP file, so it's already pre-configured with that system. We use the username of administrator and this password, which is a pretty long password. So I'm going to copy this password, <clears throat> and then I'm going to go to the RDP file. RDP file we downloaded earlier. So I go ahead and close this. And before I do that, just to verify, uh, let's look at the security groups configured for the Windows system, kind of like what we looked at for Linux. So the Launch Wizard 2 is a security group configured. And for inbound, we only have port 3389, which is RDP, Remote Desktop Protocol from anywhere. So later on, if you want to restrict this to just your source IP address or your source subnet, you can do that. Or if you want to administer this machine in some other fashion, uh, you can remove this 3389 port. Any port you have open like this, uh, publicly exposed to the internet, expect it to be bombarded incessantly with people trying to break into it. All right, so I'm going to go and open the RDP file. So here it is right here. This is the one I downloaded earlier. I'm just going to double click on it. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and click on connect. So now it's trying to establish a remote session. I need to use another account because not the local account. I'm going to use administrator. Administrator. And I'm going to paste the password in there I copied. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. It says, identity of the remote computer cannot be verified. Do you want to continue? Uh, yes, we'll continue. And at this point, we should connect right here to the Windows instance we just configured. And once we're connected here, we can... Um, you know, administer the machine just as if we're on it locally. We can add our services. We can open up uh, a web server, FTP server, whatever you want to do to the system. And we can run this, as I mentioned, along with the Linux instance for one year for free. So it gives you a couple systems to play around with. So that's basically all there is to this video. Uh, we showed you how to launch a Windows EC2 instance, how to download the remote, the remote desktop file, the RDP file, and how to connect to it using RDP, and also how to decrypt the administrator password. And once you're on the system, <clears throat> once you're remote desktoped into it, uh, and you can see this is uh, the remote desktop, I've got the... Um, 
Amazon EC2 in the background. Once a remote desktop into it, I can do anything as if I'm on the system itself. So as you see, you can start services, etc. cetera. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them beneath the video. And I will talk to you later on. Thanks.